Hello, Sam Owens uh, with a product review and this time it's an alarm clock. But this is not just an ordinary alarm clock. It's, uh, it's a, uh, a wireless Wi-Fi hidden spy camera Bluetooth speaker alarm clock. It's got a lot of features in this little thing and uh, so uh, let's see how it operates and how it comes out of the box. First, uh, it's, it has to have a memory card, so I've got a 32 gig memory card here that we will use. It does not come with it, so you'll have to get your own. Okay, let's open her up, and what you do is kind of slide this out like that, and then this slides up. It's quite a nice little box, and we'll just put that over to the side for right now. And right on top is the user manual, and here it is right here. Okay, and it's all laid out in kind of a, a fold out with all the information. And actually to fully operate this, you're going to need a, uh, a smartphone uh, or a uh, tab uh, tablet. Uh, to be able to really uh, use the full features. Now, let's see, pull the camera out, or not the camera, well, it is a camera. There's a built-in camera, but I defy you to be able to find the camera. It's actually right in there, and if you look up to the right, uh, you're going to see some of the operating features and the location of the camera uh, is in here, but it's so black you cannot see it. It's in, it's hidden. Okay, so now we pull this out. And I've already had it out. And here is uh, the battery in there with the little tab here that you got to pull out. So I've already looked it over and we will get to that in just a little bit. So let me just put this back in here for a second until we're ready. Let's look at all of what's here. Okay, and we get two cords here and a, a power adapter uh, to charge uh, the unit and also a connecting cord right here. To and There's an auxiliary jack in here that will allow you to uh, play uh, recorders or any kind of device and this has a speaker in it so you can play it. And we'll look at that. And here is a charging cord. And it's a uh, micro cord, so it's not the uh, uh, Class C. As you saw, on the back, behind this little plate, is the battery. And this is uh, quite a big battery. It's bigger than your standard battery. It's, uh, it's a 3,000 milliampere hour battery. And what they do is in uh, shipping, they put a little plastic tab here and they do this for all devices and you just pull it out and now the uh, power is delivered to the uh, camera or the, uh, uh, the alarm clock cam spy camera. Okay, now there is a setup mode, but uh, before that, uh, this uh, is running on the battery, but eventually the battery will run down and it will be no more uh, power and it'll go off. So you need to have this plugged in and what it will do is provide the power and this is a backup in case the power goes out, you still have power on there. So that's the way you want to operate it. And uh, so the instructions uh, and the manual are very clear and easy to set the time and also the alarm. I have them both. And I'll just show you how you turn this completely off if you didn't want to have it on. The time, you just press the M and it'll go completely off. You press it and hold it and it'll come back on. So it's pretty simple. And the alarm is set right there. Just turn the alarm off. You push and hold, and now the alarm's off, push and hold, and the alarm is on. Okay, I've got it for uh, 10.30, 
just to hear the alarm go off while I uh, uh, demonstrate how to download the app. And right here are QR codes, and uh, right here is the iOS QR code right here, and this is the Android over here. Now, I have a uh, iPhone, so you go to your iPhone and go to your QR code reader, and right here is mine, and I do that, and there it comes up with these little bars, and you just put it over here with your camera. Okay, my camera is over on this side, so I got to go over and get it and lined up on it. Ah, there. There we go. Let me get my glasses on so I can watch this thing for you. Okay. There is the, it's the spelled C-A-M-A-M-A, -A -M -A, many cam, that's the one. So now I want to hit get. And the instructions are going to tell me. Scan the code. Yeah. And install it. So what you're going to do is follow the instructions. It says double click to install on the side there. And this is from my app store. And then right down here, it's going to tell me to install and sign in. Now, I can't let you see all of this, so I'm going to come over here and do this. I signed in and I have the... Uh, the unit right here. There's the uh, the camera and that's what it looks like. Now let me get to the next step and see what we got to do. I'm having to learn this also. The first step it says adding new camera device and it says connect the power supply and turn on the device by on off switch. Well there's the on and off right there and I've got it on and uh, here is the green flashing lights in the back I believe that they're talking about and that means that this is in a pairing mode for my camera so that's what you want to look at there's two green lights the one on the left is flashing okie doke so we're going to and I'm gonna look at that while I do this it says next enter your phone settings choose uh, WLAN Find the camera's hotspot signal. The name of the uh, signal is uh, Camera XXX, connects uh, to the camera's hotspot. Okay, that means it wants to connect to my Wi-Fi signal in the house, so I'm going to do that. And what I do is I go to my settings, and then I go to my Wi-Fi, and I connect to this right here. Unsecured. And now it's connected. It says no internet connection at this point. And then it says, okay. And they're showing a picture here of just what I'm describing. So it's pretty clear up to this point. I'm on the camera app. I went to the app and now it's telling me to allow. And now I'm on that app that I just downloaded. Click here to add the device. What it's telling me is to click that little plus right there. And this is what you're gonna do, okay? Uh, search LAN, and that's what it says to do. That's the next step. Tip, please make sure that you have allowed the app to open. I did. Camera would like to find your, and connect. Okay. Search, device found, zero, refresh. Ah, there's something. Okay, let's click on that. And that's the security code that's built into the, uh, into the camera. And it'll tell you in the uh, directions what that code is. But it automatically puts it in there. And then we go save. 
cameras online. It's not too hard, really. Okay, let's see what we got. Default password is insecure. Please modify. They're asking you to change it because the security code is written in here as one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, I've got to change it uh, to something else. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. And what I do is I hit confirm. Folks, in addition to the camera, there are uh, jacks on the back, an auxiliary jack that you could uh, put this into right here and into a player and play it on the speaker like at night you want to hear something. The other thing is you could Bluetooth into here. There's a Bluetooth button on the back. Let me turn the lights on. Right here is a Bluetooth button that when you press it, it's going to look for whatever you have that you want to Bluetooth, like from my phone. And if I want to listen to Spotify or something on there, uh, I can hear it on my, uh, my clock uh, speaker. So that should be nice. Uh, I'll let you experiment with that. And uh, I think you'll like all of these features. They're all listed up in the right. I uh, hope you'll go through and look. Uh, stop, pause, read. And uh, I think uh, this is the clock spy camera that's for you. And then it's asking for the old one, so I, that's already entered right there. So I have a chance to put a new one in and confirm it. So make sure you write this down so that you don't forget it. So I'm going to change mine right now, or put in the new one. And, okay. And now, it's doing it. Ah, that's a good sign. Okay. Oh boy, there we go. This is so cool. I'm gonna see if you can see this. I'm gonna turn my lights out. Studio lights, hold on. And right there is the picture that is being broadcast by this camera. See how I can turn it? Like that? Okay. Now, you could have this display out and you wouldn't see anything except just a dark place there. You don't even know that that uh, is on, but look what it's broadcasting. And what I can see is I could be in a remote location. I could be in Chicago and the camera's in Florida and uh, see what's going on in the house. Wherever you have this camera, it can be anywhere. Uh, bedroom, living room, garage, anything that you want to uh, surveil and, and see what's happening, uh, this is the answer. Okay, uh, I think that's going to be pretty good and you see it was fairly easy to do and the instructions are clearly written that you'll be able to do it if you follow the instructions and they show you uh, pictures along the way uh, and right down to everything you need and even right down to changing the password. So that's pretty much it. I think, folks, in addition to the camera, there are uh, jacks on the back, an auxiliary jack that you could uh, put this into right here and into a player and play it on the speaker like at night you want to hear something. The other thing is you could Bluetooth into here. There's a Bluetooth button on the back. Right here is a Bluetooth button that when you press it, it's going to look for whatever you have that you want to Bluetooth, like from my phone. And if I want to listen to Spotify or something on there, uh, I can hear it on my, uh, my clock uh, speaker. So that should be nice. Uh, I'll let you experiment with that. And uh, I think you'll like all of these features. They're all listed up in the right. I uh, hope you'll go through and look. Uh, stop, pause, read. 
And uh, I think uh, this is the clock spy camera that's for you. I think you see that this is something that you might want to get. There's a lot of applications for it. Monitor your baby's room or uh, what have you. Uh, this is it. Uh, so you find a use and uh, I think you'll like it. All right, I want to thank you very much for watching.